Systemic management of unresectable HCC has been transformed by recent advances in immunotherapy or IO-based combination therapies, revolutionizing patient survival and treatment outcomes. Atezolizumab plus Bevacizumab has shown an objective response rate of 30%. The stride regimen, Tremolimumab plus Duvalumab, has demonstrated remarkable long-term benefits with one in five patients alive at five years. Nivolumab plus Ipilimumab has also delivered impressive results. The median overall survival has reached 24 months for unresectable HCC. Up to 36% of the patients experienced significant tumor response, and the median duration of response was 30.4 months. These IO-based treatments are generally well tolerated, with immune-related adverse events manageable with steroids. Intermediate HCC is complex and heterogeneous, requiring a phenotype-driven treatment approach based on BCLCB substratification. Historically, patients fall into three categories. Well-defined selectable tumors with an extended transplant criteria, treated with loco-regional therapy or LRT, with the intent of downstaging to liver transplantation. Well-defined selectable tumors outside transplant criteria, best managed with definitive LRT, and diffuse, non-selectable, infiltrative tumors or progressed on LRT treated with systemic therapy. Among LRT, TACE has historically been the standard of care for intermediate stage disease, providing palliative tumor control. In contrast, TEAR, or Y90, is an ablative modality with a superior time to progression when compared to TACE. Additionally, it can induce liver remnant hypertrophy and enable resection, as demonstrated in Dosisphere 01. Given their success in advanced HCC, IO-based therapies are now being studied in earlier stages of intermediate HCC in combination with LRT, such as TACE and TEAR, to potentially improve patient outcomes. This multimodal approach aims to convert unresectable HCC to resectable or transplantable disease, improve cancer control and preserve liver function. With LRT targeting visible disease, systemic therapy may enhance the effect of LRT while also addressing invisible and extrahepatic disease. Two recent Phase 3 trials have explored this strategy. LIPO-12 investigated lenvatinib plus pembrolizumab with TACE versus TACE alone, showing a significant improvement in PFS, extending it from 10.0 months to 14.6 months. Emerald-1 evaluated duvalumab with or without bevacizumab alongside TACE versus TACE alone, with the combination significantly improving PFS from 8.2 months, TACE alone, to 15.0 months. There were no new safety signals for these studies, and OS data are awaited. Survival of patients with HCC is heavily impacted by cancer control, preservation of liver function, and understanding and managing isolated liver disease risk. Intermediate HCC is a complex, heterogeneous group requiring a multidisciplinary team, including hepatologists, interventional radiologists, radiologists, surgeons, radiation oncologists, and medical oncologists to determine which patients may benefit from multimodal approaches and achieve the best survival outcomes. Ongoing studies such as Rowan and Emerald Y90 are set to provide further insights into the combination of LRT with IO for intermediate HCC.